three, two, one, action. Uh, just look out for new gigs coming up. Everything, uh, gonna try and get more going. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Can we try that again? I'm so sorry. Man, they laughed. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs>
tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, we've well, been recording for the last, well, most of this year, off and on, and then we've got two that are pretty much ready to come out. We've just got to send away to get mixed and mastered. One's fully finished, the other one we've still got to finish our vocals on. And yeah. then, and then we've got a lot of stuff that we're just going to carry on working on and try and get out over the next next year. Next year, try and make next year a bigger year and get more music out. So. Yeah. How often do you actually release singles? Once every three months would be the ideal. I think even quicker than that now. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think mostly so far we've just uh, gone like before or after a gig. Yeah. To try and write some sort of wave. Yeah. And look, you want to be playing, it's not a whole lot of opportunity down here. There's a whole lot less venue availability. Like, there are some really reliable venues down here as well. Like the Musicians clubs are good. Yeah, yeah, mm. they're bloody good. But, yeah, there's not a whole lot going down here. So pretty much every time you, you, release, a, you release a track, you basically play a show and play that track. So, like, add it yeah. to, your, to, your, to your repertoire. If it's a show we've set up, we're more likely oh, yeah. to release the song. Yeah. But if we're playing for a, another... Other games we've just jam, yeah, yeah, play, yeah. play, play our set. Play our life set. Mm. What else have you been up to this year? Writing, writing, yeah, writing, writing. <laughs> writing. Got another cheeky. Oh, it's like another four songs up the sleeve just to go. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's gonna be a lot more to come. Mm. Try to get playing a few more shows away in Dunedin and Christchurch next year. But we played a couple. Of, well, one in Dunedin with the Rising Tide this year, which was that was cool. It's good to make a release. Well, mm. Yeah, oh, there was, yeah, the winter tour, so that was, that was good, and the, mm. them just mainly being gigging in Invercargill, so. And also, like, finishing setting up the, because we, the home record, we're all, we're all dairy farmers, so we all have houses out in the middle of nowhere, so like, sweet, <laughs> let's just set up a room and record there, and like, yeah, it's really, like, the equipment that uh, we've been able to sink our teeth into this year is just really up the standard of recording that we can do here, so, yeah, no, it's been bloody good. Seeing that all come to fruition and good recordings, so we're happy with the record, uh, with the quality of the recordings as well. That's the other thing is that you know, we've all at some point, like on SoundCloud or whatever, released something. It's just, uh, you know, I think we released yeah, the song eight I times think, before it actually came out. I think that's why we never <laughs> never wanted to officially release anything before it's just finally being happy with the product and how we sound, yeah, wanting it to be professional sounding instead of before we were. Russian. We were rushing and mm-hmm. eager to release something that probably didn't sound so polished and finished as a track. Whereas now it's like take it a bit more serious and we're we're pretty happy with the results. Do you actually mix and master it all yourself or do you do you send this? No, 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 no. Send the mixing and mastering away to <laughs> to a guy in Italy and he's he gets it, he's, he's he's sort of the man. He just it's so good, so quick. Doesn't need much referencing, he's just been good and then yeah we that that's about it <laughs> yeah we, we do like Most some adjustments for, yeah before we send it away we're pretty fussy with the recording process mm. and then try to get everything really good and then he just polishes it up and can't complain with the results at the moment i've been down to a couple of larger shows in christchurch but that's about as far as i've been known of the psychoptic tour in 2014 and the suffocation decapitated tour in 2015, so I'm not really all that familiar with the music scene beyond Christchurch. Do you tend to tra- travel up to like Dunedin and Christchurch to do shows? My New Zealand geography is pretty bad, so I mean, for all I know, Christchurch is like you know five hours away. How how actually far away is it? <laughs> From, it's uh, seven hours, pretty much. Seven hours. Jesus Christ! <laughs> yeah, so going to Christchurch is a bit of a trip, but it can be done. Yeah, yeah. like we want to get. You know, if we do do like an EP or an album release, then we want to do at least the tour mm-hmm. of the South Island with it. But. Most of our gigs have been with the Dunedin and the Invercargill band sort of scene. So there's like slower, like a dry metal band. Uh, what else? Invercargill bands. Um, there was Bantha, not Bantha. Bantha Autonomy. Yeah, oh, Autonomy. Autonomy is... Another slam metal band. They were quite cool. Band of Bluffies are a huge support as well. Just, they yeah, honestly, the they always, cover band. yeah, they bring the crowd and like bring the energy as well. It's real good covers and, so yeah. we play some pretty diverse gigs. Like yeah. we're, we're not just like, oh, it has to be metal. No, nah, exactly. Yeah. And it's been going pretty good. It's different crowds together down here. So mm. I find musicians who are sort of existing in sort of the sort of the furthest reaches uh, of the country, they quite often sort of band together with with other musicians who aren't really doing the same thing. Like uh, there's a band called Abysm who. Uh, did a lot of gigs with the sort of the punk scene in Tauranga because there weren't that many death metal bands in Tauranga at the time. 
pretty yeah, much, pretty much. You know, if you can get on a gig you take it yeah it's, it's like you just yeah. you go with anything <laughs> yeah you get some real funny i remember because i studied music at sit and that was 2017 through 2019 in 2019 there was just this massive wave of out of it as they'd like be reggae bands opening and then like punk rock band and then a covers <laughs> band then two metal bands and that was you know it was like a big just whatever smallest point of <laughs> that cover palooza oh and yeah that, that after, was everything yeah when COVID finally shut down uh stopped being a lockdown situation uh one of the boys at the south and Mezos club put on a big gig it was two stages and they had oh how many was there I wouldn't like know how many 22 acts. acts or something just going off these two stages one after the other it was, it was everything I had. it started off with folk music acoustic folk music ended up in, metal. yeah ended up in black metal. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we just we like live music we don't care what it is yeah <laughs> it's just go out to us just find support it all right uh I guess the, the last question because we're running out of time the last question I was asked bands is is there anything else you'd like to add so uh yeah here's your opportunity to just to throw it anything else that you've got uh, in the pot on the table right uh, just getting more gigs going trying to get a uh, expand out from this area I guess. yeah um, yeah uh, like us on Facebook Chelsea smile NZ um, and we're gonna have some new merch coming out on there and like just get notified about anything like that coming out and we've got a new single we're about to come out as well called chaos which look at Facebook will keep you everything updated on there so <laughs> cool. Thanks, Will. Well, thanks. Thanks so much for chatting with me tonight, and all the best uh, with all of your projects going forward. And I hope to see you maybe play a gig one day, maybe when you're a little bit further up the country. Cheers, brother. Cheers. See you later. See you later. Thanks for watching. Yeah.